Hello my good sisters, so today I'm going to do two things. Um, I kind of want to spread a little bit of awareness about uh, Carmine being in lip products and I put it up on my Facebook but I thought I'd address it in a video. Um, so basically Carmine is uh, another word for cochineal. It comes from an insect and I don't know why but a lot of uh, cosmetic companies derive red colouring from it. Now as you guys know like there are certain food groups that as Muslims we can't eat and um, Okay, so we're not going to go around eating lipsticks or lip glosses or anything like that, but sometimes when you apply lip products on your lips, you may accidentally ingest it. Like if you're licking your lips, or I tend to lick my lips all the time. You know, it's not very permissible to use these kind of products. So there's like lots of other things that makeup um, products have. So I'd recommend um, buying vegan products from now on because I'm just thinking I'm going to review all the makeup that I do have. And from now on, I'm going to just try and buy vegan products. I just think they're the safest thing to, um, to buy. So let me just tell you guys what this carmine thing is so it's called carmine and you'll see it in the ingredients sometimes when you go into cosmetic shops and if you're going to boots or any sort of cosmetic shop they might not have the ingredients so just ask um the local sales assistant um to show you uh, if they have any ingredients like if you go to if you buy number seven products they won't have the ingredients directly on the on the makeup itself they'll have like little sheets on the side and you can actually read the ingredients so yeah so it's carmine and it's this is chemical its chemical name is c175470 and i think there's like different uh, variations when it comes to the numbers so basically just look out for carmine and be very wary when you're buying lip products because that's the thing that's closest to your mouth vegan shops that i've heard about is body shop and um i think urban decay there are like loads of other shops. If, if I refer you guys to my Facebook page, somebody's actually uh, provided a blog post. I don't know how accurate their blog post is, but maybe, you know, it might help. Just be wary. Whenever you take somebody's advice, take it with a pinch of salt because at the end of the day, you have to do your own research because you're going to be accountable for your own. You can't just say, oh, you know, um, I, so and so told me to do this. That's why I did it. You have to do your own research so you know exactly um, whether it's correct for you or not. And another thing is, if you can consult like your local scholar, sheikh, if you know an alima or a female scholar, like consult them when it comes to these products because at the end of the day, they're like a major part of your like your your faith, right? So yes, yeah, so that's just basically that bit I want to uh, talk to you guys about. So I'll spread this message around as girls we love our makeup so we have to make sure that whatever we're using they are halal in I a way. I wanted to show you guys a little mini haul. Um, my sister wanted to buy a revision book and then we picked up a, a few things. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this thing I got from Foil. It's a bookshop and the bookshop is so beautiful like when you go into that bookshop all you want to do is just I don't know buy a book or just stay in a bookshop. Um, I really liked it. So I picked up this little cupcake book. You know how much I love my baking. It's really, really pretty. It's called The Hummingbird Bakery and it's by Ryland Peters. So it's got different cupcake recipes and I might do a couple of them. It's got the red velvet cupcake. Um, so it's got like different recipes, um, Gives kind of gives you tips on uh, baking tips and it's got like a few savoury um, cupcakes, like muffin ideas, which is, I thought was quite interesting, like carrot and zucchini muffins. That is pretty strange. I would like to try that out. My sister bought something for my mum. It's from Lush. It's basically one of those food blocks. So this is the, the one in Buttercup, and it comes in. It's got the Butter Ball Bath Ballistic, like that, and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Soap. That's like a really famous one. So it comes in this little pretty bar. It's got a lot nice bowl here really really cute i love it so i saved the best to the last i went into mac and i bought a concealer i wanted a concealer for ages studio finish concealer and it's an sp35 which is brilliant because i always have to wear um, a little bit of sun cream when i'm leaving my house this is an nw35 35 it's the same as my sister so you've probably seen it before this is what it looks like nw35 studio finish concealer um, in SPF 35. Perfect shade for me. It matches exactly to my skin colour. I'll give you guys a swatch. Probably won't even be able to see it. But can you see? It's really, really soft. The texture's amazing. And it doesn't make your... Um, it doesn't look cakey whatsoever. So if you didn't want to apply foundation and you just wanted to apply this in your problem areas, you can just do that. So I'd really recommend getting this um, um, MAC concealer. And I think it was £13.50, which I thought was okay. And plus, they last a long time. And it's really, really good quality. So that's my video for today. I um, hope you guys found the little information useful. Um, please spread the knowledge about Carmine and, you know, looking at, like, trying to encourage sisters to buy vegan products just to be on the safe side. Uh, hope to see you guys in my next video. Assalamu alaikum, girls. Love you. Bye.